Hello, my name is Lilia and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be attempting to create a style I saw on Instagram on my natural hair. So if you want to see that, keep watching. But first, before we go into the video, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you subscribe right now. Hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. So without any more talking, let's get into it. This is the style I'm attempting to recreate. Um, I saw it on Instagram a few, I think a few months ago and I've been wanting to try it so today I'm finally going to be attempting it. Um, it was done with extension. I don't know if it's a wig. It looks like a wig. I don't know if it's a wig or it's actually braided but I'm going to try it out on my hair. So I already sectioned my hair into, so this part, I'm going to be using this part for the bands. Then I already like made like sections let me just show you guys what i've done so in total i have like one two three four four sections so like i said i'm going to be using this one for the band then this will go backwards and the rest will just like fall on it like each layer will just fall on top of this down like the way it is <laughs> um in the picture um my hair is clean i washed my hair yesterday and moisturized my hair is clean and moisturized and it's kind of it's not like damp but it's cold <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense so it's not 100 percent dry it feels like kind of cold so that's what we're working with so i'm going to be starting from the back so you guys already know that i do not detangle very cold no, I did not part my hair with a comb because that would just add more time to the amount of time I'm going to be spending so I don't have that time I feel like I see this all the time like I see this on all my project style videos I think I should have seen it I don't know if you guys notice but like I feel like my hair is getting thicker I don't know if it's obvious, but like I can do it. My hair is getting thicker. Um, and I do not really know the exact reason why, but I think it's because of the method I've been using to detangle my hair. So like I've been like now when I detangle my hair, even though I've been finger detangling for over a year now, like but now recently I stopped stressing too much about making sure that my hair is completely separated i don't know if that makes sense like when you finger the tongue, the tongue what you're you basically doing is um separating your strands of hair like trying to make sure that all your strands are separated but i feel like recently i've not been too particular about making sure that my hair is perfectly detangled like when i finger the tongue my hair i think that's what has changed plus i've been using I started using my um, ginger aloe vera mix. So I don't know what exactly, but those are the things that have changed in my routine recently. And I've noticed that my hair is getting thicker.
I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to do like the sections off camera and I'll come back after finishing each um, section or each layer. I'll come back to show you guys what it looks like. I'm done with the first layer. So for the next um, layer, for this front part, I'm going to try to like make it, make the braids fall like I'm going to make my part slanting for them to like fall down like this. At least for this part, I'm going to like make it fall this way. So this is what I mean by making it slant. So like it's coming forward. I actually wanted to do the everything off camera, but I just changed my mind. I think I'll do a few, just show you guys um, what I'm doing, so that you guys will see that I'm braiding my hair myself. <laughs> the reason why I don't want to show you guys, cause like when I'm braiding my hair, like when I'm making cornrows, I my position is always awkward. It looks weird, especially when I'm not like braiding everything to the back. So. Let me just show you. So I'm done with the second layer. For the next layer, I'm just going to repeat the same um, thing. I'll make the ones in front slanting on both sides. And I'm going to do that off camera and then I'll come back to show you guys the results. So I'm done with the third layer.
So I used the rat tail comb for this um, third layer because I wanted it to look a little bit more professional. So I'm going to do the bands now. Um, I'll just basically be making it like fall forward. So I'll do that off camera and I'll come back to show you guys later. I'll also be doing the parts for the bangs with um, a rat tail comb just to explain that. So I'm done with the bangs and this is what it looks like. So now I'm going to go and insert the beads and then I'll be back to show you guys the finished result. So I'm done doing all my hair and this is what it looks like. I used um, rubber bands, to, no rubber bands, um, African threading bands or ropes to, to get the beads. But I did not use the African threading stuff um, rope for the bands. I just like bent the hair over and like wrapped it and then covered it with um, the second bead. So yeah, I'm done. This is, this is how much hair I lost. <laughs> I usually lose a lot of hair when I do protective styles. So let me give you guys the back view. I really want to know what you guys think. Did I nail the look or not? Let me know in the comment section down below. With that, we've come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in my next